The storm, which re-strengthened into a Category 3 hurricane early Thursday, has ravaged the Caribbean over the past few days, wreaking devastation on Dominica and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands before slamming into Puerto Rico. The island of Dominica took the full force of Maria before the storm passed on to the U.S. territory, and, according to reports, at least 15 people have been confirmed dead. The U.S. State Department and U.S. aid held a telephonic press briefing on Thursday afternoon with Acting Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Western Hemisphere, Kenneth Merton. Hurricane Maria has caused significant damage in Dominica. We've received reports of downed power lines, impassable roads, impaired communication, and many, many damaged buildings. Uh, Our embassy in Bridgetown, Barbados, is working closely with government officials in Dominica to arrange for planes to land so we can assess the damage. In fact, our Department of Defense colleagues plan to conduct an airfield assessment in Dominica today. First of all, we need to look at at the first things that need to be done. We need to be doing assessments with our partners in all these countries and and islands to to see what their initial needs are. Um, In terms of economic revitalization, I think we'll need to be Once we see what is needed, we'll be working closely with them to see where they think we can be helpful and see what resources we have which we can bring to bear. The U.S. is also providing assistance to islands affected by Hurricane Irma, which left havoc in her wake when she ripped through the Lesser Antilles two weeks ago. USAID's Disaster Assistance Response Team Leader Tim Callahan, who addressed Thursday's telephonic press briefing from Hurricane Rabbit St. Martin, says so far it is difficult to put a figure on the damage caused to Barbuda by Irma. We have provided um, resources to the uh, Antigua Red Cross, and the US government brought in a shipment of relief items, non food items, and again, this was in While most of Cuba is still recovering from Hurricane Irma, Maria now threatens to cause flooding and damage on the northeastern coast of the island. However, U.S. officials say so far, the Spanish-speaking country hasn't sought their assistance. The Cubans did not ask for assistance. Typically, uh, I'm hard-pressed to remember if the Cubans have ever asked us for assistance uh, after a hurricane or some kind of natural disaster. The threat of Hurricane Maria isn't over as yet, as a hurricane warning is in effect for the Turks and Caicos, the southeastern Bahamas, and parts of the Dominican Republic. Lou Smith, GBN News.